Hey guys, uh, welcome to week 10, uh, Character Development Continued. Um, this week we're going to be learning how to model uh, characters in Blender. Uh, so there's a, actually a whole heck of a lot of work that we need to do this week and, and this next week as well. So you're going to be learning how to use Blender, how to import your 2D drawing of your character model into Blender, and then you'll render it in, as a, a 3D model. Uh, then that involves uh, importing, wireframing, giving it, uh, uh, you can rig it up if you like, give it some skins. Uh, then you'll print out that 3D model. Okay, so how do you know you're going to actually do all this? Well, it's going to take you guys to uh, go through a, a series of tutorials that will create three various 3D models that will actually help you to learn the program. And um, then you'll also want to participate or sit in on uh, some student-led Blender workshops that we'll have. And uh, for the PM session, that will be on Thursday the 9th. So make sure you're, you're here in the afternoon for that one. We already had one uh, on Monday here for the AM students. Uh, you'll bone skin and rig your 3D model, and so that'll be fun. And you'll learn how to do that as well. Now, this is really an important piece of uh, uh, game development because, you know, most games today are created in the 3D environment because that's the users really prefer that, generally speaking. Um, characters really come to life if they're in a 3D model. So even if your game that you're creating might be for an arcade or it's a two-day type of game, a 2D game platformer, that type of thing, to market that uh, game, the characters involved with that often will be a, a 3D model just, just to get people excited about it. So um, not to mention, not to say that the graphics can't be good in, in 2D. Of course they can, but um, the 3D really helps to help pique that interest. So the software we'll be using is Blender. Uh, Blender is a uh, public project. It's an open source platform. And this uh, project's been uh, contributed made by hundreds of people around the world, around the whole globe. And um, they're made by not only individuals, but studios, artists, professionals, hobby scientists, uh, animators, game artists, modders, on and on and on. Current version is uh, Blender version 2.79. Like I mentioned, it is free. You can download it at home. It's an open source. Uh, it's really a powerful, powerful tool. It's the same tool that was used to create those videos we watched uh, on Sintel and uh, Big Buck Bunny. Uh, there, you can go to their foundation or their website and even look at some of the other videos and also play some of their games. You can actually create games within the Blender environment, environment as well. The programming language is used is uh, an object-oriented programming language called Python. So that's their language of choice. There are some quick links here in this announcement. Uh, Blender org uh, features. If your tutorials aren't, YouTube tutorials are uh, hard to access in the classroom or from home. Uh, you could also uh, go to the blenderguru.com website and find those tutorials there as well. There's a series of uh, introductory tutorials. There are about nine of them. should take about six, seven hours uh, just if you play them straight through. And then the intermediate, there are about ten tutorials, which takes closer to about uh, seven and a half plus hours to go through those. So uh, be ready to dedicate some serious time into this environment um, and uh, kind of look at this as being the ultimate game to learn how to utilize this tool. Um, typically learning 3D modeling, you know, if, we are, if you were to take that in college, the course lasts for the entire year. You take the same class repeatedly over say like two or three, three three quarters or two semesters. So in any case, it's really a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, just be forewarned. Uh, you can really get addicted into doing this. So uh, have fun with this. And uh, I'm very excited about this uh, for you. And I want to see your characters come to life.